We are hearing from a good Samaritan who helped save a teenager from being sexually assaulted. Investigators say the victim was followed after getting off a public bus. So picture this. It's a late night and you're in your living room scrolling through Instagram or watching House of the Dragons or some shit. And suddenly you hear a scream outside of your window. Now, if you're like most people, your first thought might be, I'm going to mind my own business. Whatever is going on out there ain't got shit to do with me. But not David Garza who was a middle school teacher from East Houston. He didn't waste a second. He looked out of his window and he saw a 15 year old girl being attacked by some low life who clearly had no business walking the streets. They tell us the 15 year old girl was on the bus with him. She got off the bus stop and he followed her across the street and into this complex. One neighbor who knows the teen told us she was heading to see a friend and inside the apartment complex, that's when the suspect attacked her. Now, here's where it gets real. Garza didn't freeze up and he didn't just call 911 and hope for the best. He did something. He grabbed his gun and he went out there and became the hero we all hope we'd be in that situation. It's dramatic video of David jumping out of his apartment into action after he said he heard a young girl yelling for help. I looked out the window and I saw a man beating up a woman on the ground and he was trying to take her clothes off. David tells me he didn't think twice to go and get his gun. I ran upstairs, I grabbed my pistol, and then I came outside and I asked what's going on. And the girl screamed, I'm 15, help me. So I pointed my gun at him. We've paused the surveillance video to prevent from showing the 15 year old victim, but you can hear hey, hey. and see when David hey, confronts the, the suspect. But David said he had the young girl by the hair. Took his hands off her right away and he went chasing after her. So I went chasing after him and she got away. This man didn't just step outside though. He ran straight into the fire, shirtless and all, and pointed his gun right at the attacker who thought he had the upper hand. And just like that, the tables turned. Now I'm not gonna sit here and act like what he did wasn't dangerous. Of course it was dangerous, but so is freedom. And this local middle school yeah, teacher turned hero. But dad, I take my hat off to you. David says he just did the right hey, thing. I was scared too, I'm not gonna lie, um, but she needed help more than I was afraid, so I had to do it. That's what the cost of being able to protect yourself comes with. There is a certain level of danger that comes with putting yourself in a position to save someone else. But let me tell you something, and this is an important one. The Second Amendment isn't just about protecting yourself. It can be if that's all you want it to be, and I can't fault you if that's how you approach it, but in a lot of ways, it also is about protecting the people who can't protect themselves. The weak, the vulnerable, the ones who society often forgets about. And David Garza understood that. He knew that waiting for the police to show up might have been too late. And you know what? He was right. If he hadn't acted when he did, that girl could have just become another tragic statistic. Now, I know some people will say, well, he could have just called the cops. Sure, and pigs might fly. But let's be real for a second. The police aren't Homelander who can just fly into the scene the moment something goes down. They have response times, and sometimes those response times mean the difference between life and death. But when you are armed, trained, and ready to act, you don't have to wait for someone else to save the day. You can be the one who steps up if you choose to do so. And that's exactly what Garza did. I don't think he was thinking about being a hero or the next viral sensation. He just knew that someone needed help and he had the means to do something about it. That is the power of the Second Amendment. I've heard so many times from people who said, you know what? My guns that I have for my Second Amendment protection, I will use them to protect the people who decide not to carry guns themselves. And there are a lot of people who think this way because they understand that the Second Amendment gives ordinary people the ability to do extraordinary things like actually save lives. And David Garza showed us all what it means to be a protector to stand up when it counts. And that's what the Second Amendment is all about. Empowering the good guys to stop the bad guys no matter where or when evil decides to show its face. So let's not just talk about it. Let's be about it. Let's get trained. Let's stay vigilant. And remember, when the police aren't there, you just might be the one who makes the difference. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve-wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. 
As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. Politicians and tech giants don't want gun content to be recommended to you, and we're all fighting this culture war together. Now, you can help do your part by liking, commenting, subscribing to the channel, but most importantly, sharing this video with at least one person. Together, we can stop the suppression of our two-way rights. And don't forget to click the link in the description section of this video for the products that I mentioned in this video.